hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to connect your google calendar using appsheet and how to manage your google calendar using appsheet so if you already have a calendar existing so you can upload it to appsheet as a new data source otherwise you can create a new google calendar by going to calendar.google.com and just click this plus sign and click new calendar all right i already have my calendar created which is app sheet sample in order to connect this calendar to the app sheet you have to go to your app sheet account and select the tab sources and new data source and look for google calendar select the account and click allow then now we can add the calendar in in our app editor then to add the calendar select select which calendar and add this table so in if you already connected this calendar to your app sheet you can directly add edit and delete an event using app sheet so let's first create our view So let's create this. Let's say this is my calendar. Then you can configure this start. Then All right. So now let's try to add an event using AppSheet and uh, before we do that we can configure as well the columns of the calendar here let's say in the attendees uh, make sure you change it into an enum list if you wanted to submit a multiple email and allow others and check this and since i have a reference table I have a table which is contains an email so I will use this as a reference as a drop down reference so the name of the table is staff then email the rest are all good I will just keep it the same settings as you can see my calendar are I mean it's empty there is no any event let's try to add a new event using app sheet all right new event so let's say um let's say uh john john doe the title of the customer then location for example one two three four five six then attendee this and confirm let's say test once i save it goes to the calendar here as you can see there is already a calendar here if i delete this okay if i delete that it also delete in app sheet uh, app sheet refreshes every 30 minutes so if you do want to wait so you can just refresh it so here it's deleted the event so how to connect this to your tables in app sheet so let's say i wanted to create a calendar event if there is a let's say if there is a newly service record added so currently the most efficient way to add an event is using the link to form so i will show you how to do that all right so let's first create our behavior new action create new action so since we need to access this view so we need to have we need to copy this and let's say this one new event then go to another view within this app then 
use link to form. So link to form, we're going to have a preset values. Mm. Okay, so this is the form. So the row ID in my calendar, I want to use the ID in my service table. Then the title, I want to use the value of in my service record, the customer name. And then the start, I want to use the start as well. The same goes with the end. I want to use the end. Just insert. What else we have? We have the address. So the address will be in my calendar. It's a location. So I'll just then the location will be the address and we also have here the assignee so the assignee will be the attendees in Google Calendar Then I'm going to just insert the column of assigned. Then the last one we have is the, uh, sorry, we still have two. So the status will be status as well. So I'm going to just insert the status column here. And then the last one will be the description. So description will be copy this and will be the description okay if it's green it's correct so this is the link to form expression that I use I'm gonna save it then I'm gonna just configure the action Let's say video anything here okay I'm gonna use this icon and then display in uh, data view and there is a behavior action here we don't want to display this uh, new add new event if there is already a record in the google calendar so what we're gonna do is we can apply a behavior condition here so this is not in um, this row that id so if it's not in app sheet sample calendar the row id then show then i'm going to just copy this okay then we have to create an action as well as you can see um we have now here so if it's uh we have to create an action uh if the event is already in the calendar and if you wanted to edit then we will show since the event is not yet in the calendar so it show once it's there this icon should be hide okay so we will also create an action um, to edit event it is only available if there is an event already in uh, so this one we're gonna use link to row. So the 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 key column is the ID. So we're gonna link in app sheet sample app sheet sample. This is the table name detail. So I would like to the di direct them to detail wherein they can edit the event if they want to edit okay then here in the appearance I can just maybe edit 
anything here that says edit event uh, we'll just use this icon then here in the condition we can apply same condition but this will be reverse in the opposite side so we can just remove the not and here so if it in this row that id and app sheet sample row id then show this one all right now let's try to add an event okay so let's say i'm going to to create an event for this so i can still create because it's not yet listed here so i'm going to create an event i'm gonna just tap this icon and it goes directly to the um to here so but we need to uh configure first the row id of so here since we wanted to we don't want to access the, the calendar i can remove this the row id formula which is the unique id for the app sheet calendar as you can see app sheet form then this uh, row id for the app sheet calendar my calendar i don't want to edit it so i can just is blank this it should be good all right and save now let's try to add an event using this action so we have already a sample uh, data here so let's say i wanted to add an event for this let's say i'm gonna edit first change the timing let's say uh, let's say this is all good for example so i want to add an, an, a new event and the status is confirm and then save it should add record in our calendar here in our main calendar app once it's saved so it's added here but still it's syncing if you don't want to wait you can sync it directly okay the request was already exists i think i added before already so i'm gonna just reset and uh let's see changes okay all right so i will try again add a new i will add first a new service record here let's say this is pending customer let's say joe and then start date for example is this and end date let's say this but within let's say 23 hours and then let's say sign to this email and let's say this is test let's try okay and then i can create a new event and then the status confirm and save and then hit this and then it should display here a new event is added and then i can uh, let's say if you wanted to edit the event here you cannot see anymore the add new event because you already added an event if you wanted to edit so this is the event you can edit it okay let's say tentative as, as you can see here it's showing this is showing here so we can uh, i want to edit let's say the test 2 okay then once you go back so it changes as well here as you can see if you're going to delete the event so you can just go there edit event and delete and then you have again you can add a new event and it's also deleted here as you can see it's deleted as well all right so this is how you uh, integrate your google calendar in AppSheet. and if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions 
and thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video